present that I got. Or maybe it was my printer, but it's the paper. Slightly disappointed in myself for not doing it earlier. And I'm still exploring different types of She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad if When I was first starting out, there are so many different types of sticker paper. So what I did was I went on online labels and I went on sheetlabels.com and I ordered sample paper because I wanted to test them out with my stickers just to see if I want to change my sticker paper, expand on some products. So what I have here are different samples that I got from both companies. Okay, so I'm going to open them now. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so the first one is from Online Labels. Let's test it out. So this one is the Weatherproof Gloss Inkjet. This one is the Clear Matte for Inkjet. Ooh, it has like a, yeah, nice matte feel to it. This one is a weatherproof mat for inkjet. Hmm. Oh, and this one has two vertical back slits. So this is what I would use if I was making um, individual stickers, not sticker sheets. And this one is the recycled white. It's just like a white mat. Sheet labels. Well, they give you samples of what it would look like if you were to print on it. So this is what it would look like. Interesting texture. For the 100% recycled white, uncoated. Nice. So this is the Spectacle Inkjet. This one is the 100% recycled. All right, we're going to test out these papers. I'm going to try to see if I can get the best print settings for these papers in at least two tries, if not one, hopefully, so that I can really see if I want to invest in different types of paper. Well, here we go. Okay, so the first one that I want to try is the Weatherproof Matte for Inkjet from Online Labels. And that's because I have a similar one from Sheet Labels. And I want to see which brand I like better and... Um, the paper quality. This is the one from Sheet Labels, so weatherproof mat. And this is the online labels weatherproof mat. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but one of them looks like blanched white and the other one is a little bit off-white, like an eggshell white. I don't know which one I like better, so what I'll do is I'll print something off of this one and we'll see. Okay, I can definitely tell the difference. Like, look at this. One is way more vibrant than the other. Like you can tell the yellow pops out a lot more for the one on online labels. And then see even the brown for this. It, everything else looks a little bit muted and I thought that maybe it was just... I thought it was the paper or maybe it was my printer but it's the paper. Look at that. That's so much more red than this one. I think I might have to switch over. This is why it's so important to test out your paper guys. I'm really glad that I tried it, but I'm also like slightly disappointed in myself for not doing it earlier. But also, understanding that this is a lesson. And I really hope that you learn from this lesson. If you're watching this and you want to like double down and like fully commit to paper, try sampler first.
Clear gloss inkjet, weatherproof matte inkjet, all inkjet, recycled white, clear matte, weatherproof gloss, then we have weatherproof inkjet from sheet labels, spectacle inkjet, and 100% recycled. I use the clear gloss inkjet and the inkjet weatherproof. I do like the look of the spectacle inkjet from sheet labels. I feel like it's a little bit of a premium matte and um, the colors are really vibrant and the backing is really white and I think that it makes a good contrast. So I like this one. I like the spectacle inkjet. <laughs> This weatherproof mat from online labels versus the weatherproof from sheet labels. I think this one has a wider backing and this one is a little bit of a eggshell white. So I do like how the online labels, it's very vibrant. The color is just really nice. Whereas this one, it's a little bit like muted. Which is a specific style, but I think I like the vibrancy of it. Like, look, if you look at that coffee on top. Hold on, let me place the camera. Okay. So if you look at these two in comparison. This one is a lot more, like, yellow and vibrant in color and more saturated. Whereas this one is a lot more muted. And then you can also really tell with this one this is the online label one and then this one is a little bit muted as well so overall i think that online labels has more vibrant paper this is the way that i drew it and then um sheet labels it's a little bit muted and i mean it depends on the style that you want but i think if i wanted a muted look then i would probably change my color palette and i like the option of having the vibrancy so this is the clear gloss that I use right now and I noticed this clear matte inkjet and I really like it so I'm excited to test it out on paper so I'll actually go ahead and do that right now so this is the clear matte inkjet from online labels okay Ooh, I love it. So I can focus that. I love it already. Okay, let's. <gasps> the feel is so good. I mean, I guess, can you really compare a clear gloss with a matte? Clear matte? I don't know, I'm just trying to find a good clear 
paper just because I know that like I like clear paper like clear backing so this is the clear gloss all right let's see okay so what I noticed about this is that the clear matte versus the clear gloss I think there's a lot more like texture and I think that's really cool whereas the clear matte maybe not so much but I do like the application of it and I don't know what do you think which one do you like better do you like the clear matte or do you like the clear gloss hmm all right Let's, you know what? I'm going to keep testing. I'll choose one with more of a color, so I'll choose this one. Oh, I love it. I actually write on my planner, so I need some space. I need the bottom. <laughs> okay. So this is clear matte. And this is the gloss. They're quite similar. This one definitely has more texture, but I love the feel of this. I think it's really cool. And with this one, the thing with the clear gloss is that the ink is pretty runny, so I have to spray it with the fixative. I think I'm going to go with the clear matte. So once I finish the clear gloss, I'm going with clear matte. Ah, this is really helpful. Okay. So the online labels, this is the recycled matte or the recycled white and this is the sheet labels 100% recycled. It actually looks quite similar. Like I wouldn't be surprised if they were the exact same paper. Yeah, there is no comparison. I mean, there is there is comparison. The comparison is I don't see a difference. I hope this one here and that one there. If not, it doesn't really matter. I think they look the same. Okay, so these two are quite similar. So the weatherproof gloss inkjet, I wasn't able to have my Cricut read the cut lines. And that is because um, it was too glossy. And I even put matte tape over it. I colored it in with um, colored pencil and it still wouldn't read it. So. It's fine. I actually don't plan on using a uh, glossy inkjet anyway, so I just cut it so you can see how it looks like. But I'm not interested in using this one for my shop right now. Okay, so these we deemed were the same. Let's do this. Okay. These we deemed were the same. Okay. Um, for the inkjet weatherproof and the inkjet weatherproof for online labels versus sheet labels, I prefer the online labels one. Okay, For the spectacle inkjet, this is like a premium matte which I really like so I'd probably order some. Um, for clear matte inkjet versus clear gloss inkjet, I would prefer the clear matte inkjet. And then, weatherproof gloss I just gave up on. So, no for this. So, it'd be one, two, and three for me. It'd be the weatherproof matte, which is from online labels. It'd be the clear matte, which is from online labels as well. And it'd be the spectacle inkjet, which is from sheet labels. Okay, so in conclusion, I figured out what my next round of sticker paper would be. I don't have any of the paper that I want. And that's why it's so important <laughs> to get samples because had I done this before I decided to buy like packs of 100 I would have saved a lot of time and a lot of money I would have found the paper I wanted but you know it's a trial and error and I encourage you to go on their website and send in a request for samples because it's very important that you test out your printer with specific um, paper because it might be different and just because I'm sampling it for you doesn't mean that what I choose is correct either. So just test it out, see what it is that you like. If I don't already include this, I print everything in a matte setting if it is a matte paper. 
so it's quite simple best quality and i put it on a matte paper so that's the print settings that i use and make sure you're drawing in cmyk color mode and I think that's all that I have for this video. So thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoy sharing lessons that I've learned with you just because I was starting stickers. I, like these YouTube videos were a crutch for me. And before I even got the iPad, I was binging on videos like this and I was so excited. So I really hope that it's helpful for you. Um, yeah, and best of luck or if you have any other video ideas please feel free to share it with me and um hopefully we can cover it in the next time all right see ya bye